Oh, God, guys. <clears throat> it just turned into a gray, gloomy day here in the end times. <clears throat> uh, and uh, I don't know if this is paradise or not. We are in Beverly Hills. We are in Beverly Hills. Beverly Hills, Florida. So, uh, Andy the gardener can see we do have hills in Florida. Of course, if you have a hill in Florida, you make a golf course out of it. I mean, uh, obviously, that's what you would do with a with a hill in Florida is turn it into a golf course. Uh, God. So uh, <laughs> I'm dealing with my goddamn broken down gator. Oh, Jesus, just another day on the planet. I, you know, I was planning to spend this day uh, getting these absolutely gorgeous dead cedar tree slabs of wood for my countertops uh, sanded and whatnot. And then I find my gator is broken down. So uh, my day has taken a turn for the, you know, for the usual dealing with this goddamn shit driving all over the fucking place, getting fuel filters and all kinds of stuff and taking the goddamn gator to the shop, blah, blah, blah. Uh, you know, it's, it's just another day on the planet just going along in the end times just like we always do just dealing with broken down fossil fueled machinery and dead slabs of wood that we want to make bar tops out of and uh <laughs> just driving around beverly hills florida uh in the closing days of 2023 you know, just acting like uh, th this shit is just going to keep right on going. It's what we've been doing our whole lives. There's no reason that uh, any of this is going to change. We're going to be doing the same thing next year. We're going to be doing the same thing 10 years from now as the planet adds another however goddamn many people to the mix uh, fuck and, uh, it's just uh... <laughs> uh... yeah what, what what the fuck else are are you going to do you know you go through your goddamn life uh, in full knowledge of, of how fucked we are. Full knowledge uh, of how fucked we are that uh, th th this whole goddamn house of cards could come down tomorrow. It's the same thing I was saying when I first went down the, this rabbit hole uh, 15 years ago, 15 fucking years ago, uh, I was uh, I was saying any fucking day, the, the, this entire goddamn house of cards can come down any day, running off to fucking Peru uh, to live with the goddamn noble savages and the uh, an Amazon rainforest thinking that global industrial civilization was teetering on the brink of imminent collapse. Here I am, 15 fucking years later, uh, I always turn the wrong way on here. They saying that, uh, all right, the ro robot is telling me to uh, you know, we got the CVS on one corner. We, we've got Walgreens on this corner. We've got CVS on the other corner. I just came out of one gated community. I've got another gated community. 
right directly in front of me. It's the same fucking gated community that was here four years ago. Oh, Jesus. So we uh, wait for the asteroid to, uh, to make this whole thing go splat. Speaking of uh, asteroid metaphors for the end times, I do have to recommend uh, this new cartoon on Netflix. I, I very rarely watch these cartoons, but some of you might have noticed this new cartoon called Carol and the End Times. The C-A-R-O-L. Carol and the End Times. It's a, uh, I guess it's a 10 part uh, new Netflix series. Uh, every, uh, so each episode is 30 minutes. So it's a five hour investment. Now, I, I was up to episode three and it really didn't keep its pace together in, uh, in, in the third episode, but the, the first two, just, just spend an hour on Carol and the End Times, e even if you don't want to make the full investment uh, uh, of the five hours. I, I mean, it, it's fucking hilarious, guys. The, the humor is very subtle in it. It's not, you, you know, it, it's not one of these hit you over the head type uh, type cartoons so, you know, it's not slapstick the the end times and I know Michael Campy is going to love these two words the doomer humor in it is extremely subtle so uh, just to give you, I, I, I can't give you a spoiler alert because I don't know how the thing ends, but uh, you, you know, it's kind of a send up, I guess, to, uh, to don't look up where uh, it, it's, uh, it, it's kind of unexplained, but, it, but it's basically the asteroid it is going to hit the planet so when the series starts, it's seven months from impact. So everybody on the planet knows that they're going to die. In seven months, they know that they're going to die. Uh, everybody uh, on the planet that they know and love is going to die with them. And so there, there's no doubt. So everyone on planet Earth at the same time learns they're going to die in seven months. You know, that is the setup. And so how will eight billion people live out the, la the last seven uh, months of their life, literally in the end times? And it, it, it's fucking hilarious. And it, it certainly takes the enjoy it while you still can meme uh, to, to, to the absolute extreme that, uh, <clears throat> you know, a whole lot of people uh, just say, fuck it. I mean, pretty much everybody walks off their job. Uh, you know, the, the, the vast, vast, vast majority of people say, fuck this, uh, I, I, I'm getting out of here, I'm getting out and enjoying it <clears throat> while I still can. And uh, I'd be goddamned if I'm going to spend the last seven months of my life, uh, you know, working some fucking dead-end job. So, of course, this means that things like, you know, supermarkets fall apart. So, the uh, that guy's blinking his lights. Must be a cop up here. Uh, you know, so the military has to take over shit like uh, supermarkets and stuff. But uh, <clears throat> what's you know hilarious about this? So so everybody, uh, on one hand, you've you've got the contingent of, of everybody getting out there and enjoying it 
while they still can. You know, like like Carol's sister, uh, she takes up skydiving and jumping out of airplanes because why the fuck not jump out of airplanes when you know you're going to splat in seven months anyway. And, and, and so her parents, uh, you know, they take a world cruise they uh, get on a, a ship and they're out cruising around the world and then one of her friends, this real, uh, <clears throat> you know, the epitome of this entitled, privileged, uh, rich white woman, <coughs> she and her <clears throat> entitled, privileged friends, well obviously they head off to Tibet and, and they go to find enlightenment uh, in, in Tibet. This is, you know, what all the uh, what what all the millionaires uh, are doing is is going to find enlightenment in Tibet. Uh, but Carol, so the I see the fucking uh, robot has taken me to the middle of fucking nowhere and abandon me. God damn, these goddamn Google robots. So, but Carol, so her shtick is, what Carol is, is she is just this <clears throat> boring, overweight, in, in middle-aged woman, you know, what, what I call one of these invisible women that look like 98% of the women on pile of fish that they're probably perfectly nice people but uh, you, you know they're they're absolutely boring uh, they're bored they've probably never had an original thought in their life and uh, it's unclear what Carol uh, W was doing with her life when uh, when all of this uh, when this news came down but uh, what she ends up doing is just just completely inadvertently she ends up uh, in, in, in this outrageously uh, dead-end job as an administrative assistant in this nameless, faceless corporation that does nothing. It, it serves no purpose whatsoever. No purpose whatsoever. Uh, so I guess when there's like six months left to live, she stumbles by accident and uh, becomes an administrative assistant in this giant corporation in this sterile office building uh, in, in the middle of this nameless city while, you know, while the world is literally crashing and burning uh, around her. She keeps going to work every day. It's her distraction. They, they, they call it the distraction uh, from her, you know, from the, the, the collapse of everything. She decides that she is going, you know, just to cling to any level of normalcy that, uh, that, that she can find. And so her and her co-workers, that is how they handle uh, that, how they handle it is it, just by, <clears throat> it, it, you know, just completely shutting their eyes and ears and remaining just, you know, just unbelievable, absolutely clueless fucking morons <clears throat> with full knowledge that, uh, the planet's <laughs> gonna end and, uh, so, you know, when, whenever they go out on the street, so half the people are, are out there and enjoying it while they still can. There's all these orgies going on and people, you know, I mean, it's fucking hilarious. 
and then what you see you know just subtly in the background is you know all of the burned out uh, cars and the collapsing buildings and uh, the shtick that they do on on Office Depot is absolutely fucking hilarious. Well, she, she's going, she, she's trying to find uh, toner for the copy machine at the corporation <laughs> at, at all of these, uh, you know, collapsed, vandalized Office Depots. And, 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 and somewhere along the way, she uh, meets this guy in, in, in the park. Just out of nowhere, she meets this other uh, basically fat, clueless moron, uh, and they, uh, they they have this you know this very shallow, empty one night stand that this guy is known her for like one fucking day, and he goes completely batshit crazy in love with her. Uh, he, 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 he's barely knows this woman and, and, and he's following her around, uh, you know, talking about how, uh, you are my twin flame. Uh, you know, you are the woman I've been waiting for since I, I, I mean, we, we've got the Dulcinea character in it, but I, but I get to, uh, you know, I, I, I mean, this is just something that I enjoy. So I get to... In this cartoon, she represents Dulcinea. Uh, you know, uh, Carol is Maggie. And so she's got this guy who doesn't know her uh, from fucking Adam and claiming uh, that uh, she is his woman, blah, 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 and how they're going to live out the end times together, and uh, she's basically going to be his doomer chick forever, and, and she's going, dude, I don't know who the fuck you are, and, and uh, so, so uh, she's fighting off the advances from this fucking pathetic, lonely lunatic, uh, you, you know, still looking for, uh, still looking for a woman. Uh, <laughs> he's got six months to live, and uh, all he can think about is, uh, is is finding his doomer chick forever. I mean, it, the, the whole fucking thing is hilarious. And uh, then towards the end, they uh, is uh, they have this. Uh, she goes to this party uh, where you, you know her friend, her her rich friends uh, have just gotten back from Tibet, and they hold this party. And invite Carol to their uh, whatever the name of the party. It's not a. They don't call it a party. It's got some Tibetan Buddhist word. I, I, anyway, the scene in the fucking party. Uh, I, I mean, the whole goddamn thing, guys. Uh, just do yourself a favor. It, it, it's the funniest fucking doomer humor I I have ever encountered. Uh, it, it, you know, and good for Netflix for, uh, for running this thing. I, I, I mean, really good, good for fucking Netflix, uh, having the balls to run this, uh, this cartoon. Now, as I say, it did not hold together. They couldn't keep the pacing up from the first two episodes. The third episode was disappointing. Uh, I will give it the fourth episode. Hopefully it gets back on track. If it doesn't, then I'll skip ahead till the, you know, till the tenth episode and see if it has, I hope to hell, it does not have some uh, happy horseshit Hollywood ending. And then kind of like happen and don't look up that the uh, that the asteroid does hit, and I'm thinking, and, and I'm thinking, judging by the first few episodes, that uh, that 
it is going to hit. And uh, thought I was going to Lowe's and I've ended up at Walmart. God damn it. But I have to, well, come on, I have to buy some chicken for the little dog. So, uh, all right, I have to get sandpaper and chicken. I, I'm hoping the chicken is still 57 cents a pound at, at, uh, at Walmart. That's what I've been paying these 10 pound bags of factory farmed chicken are five dollars and seventy cents at Walmart. People talking about how expensive food is. Well, let's look at the. All right, look at all the poinsettias and the Christmas cactus. Oh man, I love it. I love uh, garden centers in Florida at Christmas time with the petunias and the marigolds and the impatiens and the hibiscus all in full bloom. <clears throat> we have uh, not had a frost yet and we're not going to, it doesn't look like. Uh, look at all the gators. Maybe I should just buy a new gator for $10,000. These new gators are $10,000. All right, all the gas grills. Just people being people. All right, I gotta go park this damn, uh, where am I gonna park this damn trailer? Jesus Christ, dragging this fucking gator around with me. And that guy parked right there. I see. So I guess if you have a trailer, you line up here. All right. So I am in trailer row. Ah. Off to Lowe's I go. Get out there and uh, <laughs> figure out how you're going to live out the end times while you still can. Carol and the End Times on Netflix. Enjoy it while you still can. Bye, guys.